And you're currently watching the sexiest man alive in the universe and he's back it's been a while since i made a video we had a buy last week so i had no fucking reason to make a buy and i had a couple of my subscribers that said hey man you lost that bet to the saints you better make a saints video this week i didn't make a saints vid last week because there's no titans vid makers at least to my knowledge you got be uh bears uh what's that uh, bears uptown or something like that uh, Jackson Bear One is what his name was. He didn't make a hate week vid so against the Saints. And then you got Gold Doris who hasn't made a Saints vid in a long time. Then you got Sheltered who took the season off. He's an FSU fan. He'll be repping FSU this season and calls TTC, which I'll be joining next year. But anyways, let's skip through it. I got a message from Athletic Douchey. I think it's his name. Athletic Douchey something. He has like a three-part name. And he made a bet with me a long time ago. The losers got to rep the other person's team. So I went ahead and took that bet early in the season. Now I'm regretting it because I'm like, oh, fuck. I shouldn't have took that bet. Fuck it. Bet's a bet, you know. So uh, A-Train wants to do a donation bet. Uh, let me know what. Let me know some more information on that, A-Train. And we'll go ahead and get that thing cracking. So let's go ahead and get down to this game, shall we? Texans at 3-5. and five, Bengals at 8-0. Oh. Bengals beat us the last time we played them in Cincinnati. But the last three times... We won, including two playoff games. So, even though the Bengals are 8-0, on paper, we're evenly matched up against these bitches. We're evenly matched up, man. And Annie Dalton's from Katy. I hope y'all know that he stays about 30 minutes from where I stay, his mom. I know I know Andy Dalton. I don't know him personally, but I know where he lives. Lives right down the road from me, 30 minutes from here. But anyway, let's get down to this eight week, shall we? We got a fired-up Houston Texans team that is driving and wants to make the playoffs this year so what better to make the playoffs this year than to get a win we need an actual dub a real fucking win not against the titan tards or the jack tards or the buck tards we need a win against the fucking Bengals. go into cincinnati and let's get this win let's get this win this week how do we do that you ask we don't have a running back we ain't got any legit receivers well obviously deandre hopkins is got to get involved i mean that's the obvious go-to the go-to answer right we got to get andre hopkins involved we got to establish the run game against the Bengals. how do we establish the run game got to give alfred blue some carries and offensive lines got to block create some holes for alfred blue to penetrate so after we get that going the next thing we got to do is we got to bust Andy Dalton on his ass. We're going to need Vince Wilfork to a lot of fire under his ass. We're going to need Jared Crike a lot of fire under his ass. And we're going to need J.J. Watt to a lot of fire under his ass and put Andy Dalton back in his place, and that's on the ground on his back. Now, Bengals are 8-0 for the first time in franchise history, and I congratulate you guys. But here's where your streak will end this week. Houston Texans come in on Monday Night Football, a primetime national game. Live in Cincinnati, and we're going to come in and end the 8-0 the no streak. Now, realistically, for hate week, Texans will win. But from a out-of-TTC perspective, Bengals should win this game. Um, you got a guy like A.J. Green who's really good. Uh, you also got Jeremy Hill at running back. Guy's a beast. Andy Dalton's playing good in the pocket. Um, he's making some 
good plays and pressured situations. I like Andy Dalton personally. I think his game has progressed. We'll just see. We'll see how far it goes with with with, uh, with how he plays the rest of this, the rest of these eight games. But I think the Texans is a true testament to the streak because I think we're going to play them tough. I really think defensively we're going to play them tough. This could very well be a trap game for the Bengals. I know Bengals fans ain't going to believe me when they say this. Donald Kazanier is laughing, laughing in his grave. And then this other dude, uh, 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 the Dashi kid, he's laughing. And and, uh, and A-Train uh, is going to be laughing as well. But guess what? When our defense fucking kicks up and you see a tight score, 7-7 in the first quarter, into the first quarter, Texans ball on the Bengals' 10-yard line, y'all bitches are going to be biting your tongues because you ain't going to know what to be thinking. Because you ain't thinking, oh, okay, this is going to be a trap game. This is going to be a fucking trap game right here. This got trap game written all over it. And I can see DeAndre Hopkins getting over 100 reception yards, uh, maybe a touchdown or two. A.J. Green's going to get involved for the uh, for the Cincinnati Bengals. He's probably going to get a touchdown or two. So if we want to beat the Bengals, man, we're going to have to beat them on all sides of football because the Bengals are playing that fucking excellent. On They're executing on every side of the ball, defense and offensive-wise, special team-wise as well. And the Texans got to beat them. We got to beat them up front. We got to make this personal. This week, Texans Nation, we got to go into Cincinnati with the attitude, with the persona that we can win like the Indianapolis Colts did to the Denver fucking Broncos this last Sunday. I didn't expect fucking Peyton Manning to lose. Thanks a lot for fucking me, Manning, because I really needed that fucking dub to have my Texans in front of the division right now. But now we're playing catch-up. We're playing from behind. That's all right. They get a win against a good quality team. We got to get a win against a good quality team this week. Let's get this dub against Cincinnati in Cincinnati, in front of their home crowd, against Katie's own Andy Dalton. And we're going to shut down the Cincinnati Bengals. Texans win this game 16-13. I think it be a low score, and it's going to be an all-defensive game here. I really think every time we match up with the Bengals, it's an all-defensive game. All-defensive game here. So with that being said, the sexiest man alive is signing out. Uh, A-Train, get at me with that bet. Get at me with that bet. Oh, and never fold. I don't. I know he ain't TTC no more. He he went to the YWC. Um, I don't even know if he still makes vids, but I'll give you a shout out too if you're watching this video. And also, uh, we got that other cat from Cincinnati that uh, um, Bengals run this. I don't even know what's his status if he's making a video or what, what's his situation. You guys make a video, I'll respond to it. But I just thought I'd kick this hate week off with a big fuck you, fuck your team and your fan base. Blah 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 blah. Texans come out and march defensively. They're going to win this game defensively. Brian Hoyer is going to do just enough to put enough points on the board, and it's going to be an all-defensive game. 16-13, Texans win. Mark it down in your books. Take it in your notes. It's over. Peace!